So check this one out. This is a 1964 Rambler. It's a Rambler wagon, 550, according to the nameplate there. We're gonna go around it real quick and kind of give you an idea. This thing's been sitting since like 1976. It's a six cylinder car, uh, three on the tree. It had under dash air condition. You know, that front end looks like a little mini Impala, doesn't it? This is a 64, you look at a 64 Impala. Look how straight this thing is. T3 headlights. At least two of them are still T3. Pretty straight bumper, decent chrome, good Arizona solid car for the most part. I'm gonna pop the hood. So someone started taking the six cylinder apart. Sorry. As you can see. And uh, probably nobody cares. I got parts for it that come with that are loose. Uh, did have air conditioning as you can see. A lot of wild patina on this thing. What I call rust, uh, rust something, rust, uh, I don't know. Uh, rust stains, that's it, stains. A lot of this can actually be knocked off if you want with some paint, um, some sandpaper. You might want to keep it, up to you. There's your VIN tag. Of course, you know this thing comes with a Clean Arizona title. These were five lug vehicles, which is kind of cool, putting wheels on them, pretty easy. Uh, I think this one's not gonna come on these. I think it'll come on these. I'm not positive, but generally they come with some sort of rollers. So I can't promise what wheels and tires are gonna come on it. I can promise that the rockers are gonna look just like this when you get it. No rust here. Door tag. Under the door. That front floorboard's not too bad. Pretty solid. Part of the dash or something? I don't know. Instrument cluster's pretty clean. Bench seat. Looks like 50-50. There's your under dash AC. Looks like a factory radio to me. It's even got the uh, owner's manual in the glove box, which is pretty dry. It's showing 60,000 kilometers on your 80,000, 60 or 80. What does that say? Eight zero. And my guess that's probably original because this thing was driven from 64 to 76. And that was it. Then it was parked because of engine issues. Left for dead, as they say. It's got a really cool luggage rack on the roof. Fold down back seat. Engine parts that come with it. An old casket kit. Yeah, you can have it, sure. Really solid floors over here. Not bad door panels, at least restorable. Nice solid dog legs. Let's go to the back. Now, I rarely ever go underneath the car with this camera because I have a lot of pictures of under the vehicle and you can kind of see better with the pictures. Sometimes I don't have it up high enough with a jack or anything here. But you can see when it was last tagged. Tailgate's in great shape. Perfect working condition. Well, let's say good working condition. I don't know what perfect is anymore. But, Slides down. No rust there. Window does roll up by hand. Gives you a little cargo area. Two row, not a three row. Storage. Check out that headliner, which I'm surprisingly it still hasn't fallen down yet. No rust in the corners or rot. Let's just say, when I say rust, I'm talking about rust holes. Arizona still gets service rust. That's about it. Hinges are a little dry. Cross country. That's where you go with this, baby. Cross country. Window goes up. 
kind of a little off the track, I would venture to say. I don't want to force it. But I've had it up and down. It's a little, looks like maybe it's off track a little bit. If you do it with two hands, it does go up and down. Got to guide it a little bit. All right, so there you go. Okay, so definitely off track. Glass is good. I think you can kind of help it up and down on your own to help uh, guide it, to get it up or down if you need be. Rambert Classic. A little bit of rust starting from over the years. But look at this thing. I hope you like Rob Zombie. Cause that's what we got today. I think all the glass is good. We're gonna go back by this here in a sec, hang on. Windshield okay? Yeah, it looks it. Nice. There's your glove box and owner's manual. This floor did get some rust, obviously. So you got one floor to fix, at least. Low spots anyway. Door panel. Between the frame there, between the jams. Here's your interior again. Again, it's a three on the tree. There's your clutch pedal. And there's your tree. Uh, let's see what else. Chrome on that baby's nice. Look at that. I'm not gonna fold the seat up. Well, maybe I will. There's your extra engine parts that come with it. Let me move this stuff real quick. Say hi to the engine parts. Hi, engine parts. Actually, hang on. Look back here. C C C. Just trying to do this a little fast because I know we're losing light kind of quick. And seat goes up. There's your back seat. Okay. Again, no rot there to speak of. I already showed you the door panel. Five lug wheels, five lug a bolt design, which five on four and a half, which is super easy to put wheels on this thing. Again, there's the interior air. Let's see here, the roof. Let me grab a couple of these wrenches. They don't belong to this car. Okay, there we go. But check out the 64 Rambler wagon, man. It's a classic. Even says so right there, in case you don't believe them. So this was a classic before even, before it was old, it was classic. Man, Rambler really knew ahead of time about their vehicle, didn't they? Hey, let's just call it a classic, damn it. And under it, again, I got pictures of under it. Kind of put some stuff in the storage area back there like uh, ammonia to kind of get rid of some of the smell because i'll be honest with you it does have a rodent owner odor inside let's see here you know i was gonna put a battery in this thing and see if lights came on i wonder if i still could here's a ground maybe i'll try it later see what lights work what lights don't work but 64 Rambler Wagon, Arizona vehicle, been parked for many, many years. Apparently 1976, nobody cared about Ramblers, did they? I can ask, screw it, we'll go out and buy a new car. Who needs this beast? But they're sorry now, aren't they? We do have the 67 Ford coming up, Country Squire next, just so you know. Soon to show up here for sale. Good wheel arches. We looked under the hood. We looked outside. We looked a little under it. We looked inside. We looked at the Arizona mountains. We looked at the sunset. Isn't it beautiful? We looked at this row car. So, um, I'm not sure what else to tell you. Manual windows. I don't know about power brakes or not, to be honest with you. I don't remember. Can look. Let's see here. 
Hey, cat. Hey, cat. No power brakes. I don't see any power steering. You know how they're Arizona cars because dealer installed or factory installed AC. That's how you know they've been in Arizona. Because that was the way they were doing back in the day. Because when you lived in Arizona, kind of needed air conditioning. And if you're rich, you had it installed by the dealer. For an extra 300 bucks probably back in the day, right? Anyway, so there you go. Cool little Rambler wagon, right? That baby's coming up next. Maybe that Pontiac, I'm not sure. Two-door Catalina. But, um, hope you enjoy our video again. Pretty cool ass patina. New 550, man. Who knows? Uh, I think that's it, folks. Let's look one more time in the interior. I got a minute. And that's curl. That dash is pretty sweet. That was futuristic, man. Look at that. They saw the future. Oh, by the way, I got pictures of the other floorboard. I think that side's just as nice as this side. It's just the front one had the worst. Mm, problem. Gas cap? Okay, I'm done. It's time to go home. Say bye to Rob Zombie. Say bye to the Rambler. Say hi to the Sundays. Say hi to the sunset. We're leaving. I'm not kidding. I'm really going this time. Oh, there's a cat. Hey, cat. You hungry? Cat looks good. Give me some food. He's cool. They eat a lot of mice. And there's our beautiful sunset. Anyway, thanks for looking. See you soon on the next one. Hope you enjoy our videos. Find a lot of cool stuff here in Arizona. I'm in Tucson. And we have uh, probably five more coming up in the very near future. A bunch of wagons, too. I think you people are going to like. Various makes and models. So, uh, thanks again for watching. Bye.